It was a cold, snowy January morning on the island of Sodor. Vickerstown was a little bit quieter than usual. Gordon was talking to the big city engine, reflecting on the last year's events and whatnot. They thought about everything and had a lot of plans and resolutions for the year. Both engines were very happy and pleased. On the other side of the platform, Spencer was destined to take the Duke and Duchess of Botsford to the mainland. He was sticking to Croven. <laughs> oh, Croven, be careful. The rails are mighty slippery. Do you think you need a snowplow? <laughs> I think you do. I hope you do. Spencer ignored him. Oh, dear. The snow is mightier than ever, he s Spencer sang. Crowen thought it was hilarious, but Helen thought it was hilarious, too. Caden, the diesel shunter, saw this. He couldn't stop laughing as well. <laughs> oh, jolly, mate. You might want to be careful. That snow's crazier than ever, mate. The station as fast as he could. He wanted to make up for lost time as a result of a faulty point settings within the, within the sidings. A few yards out of the station it happened. Spencer slowly came to a stop and his wheels began to spun furiously. His drivers and firemen tried to diagnose the problem, but to no avail. Unfortunately, they had to drop his fire, and Spencer came to a stop. The platform were roared with laughter. They couldn't stop laughing. Scotsman chimed in. Oh, Spencer, my friend. Were you having a little bit of a spin? <laughs> Turntable down for what? The Duke and Duchess thought it was funny, but then were concerned. They were worried they would miss their guaranteed connection. They were expected to join City of Toro's train. <laughs> I'll help you, there, mate. Don't worry. A few minutes later, arrangements were made, and Crow went back to Spencer and was coupled up. Unfortunately, his wheels were frozen. They couldn't spin no more. His drivers and firemen were concerned. We're going to have to be very careful, my friends. This could be dangerous. Yes, indeed, to the driver. The wheels may slip off. Sir Tom had heard about this and arrived. Spencer, I'm sorry for your situation. Crover will take you the rest of the way. He will take you to Crover's Gate, and then you must take the Duke and Duchesses to the mainland. City of Turo is waiting. Of course, sir, said, Sven said Crover. Spencer felt embarrassed. He felt, he felt sad. He felt everyone he left down. But Helen cheered him up. Don't worry, my mate. It's all good in times. You'll wait and see. It's fine. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> that said, Helen. Well said. Now we must get going. We have a lot of things to do. Come on now, you silver show-off. We must go and get you fixed. And soon, the whistle blew again, and, and Crowman started off slowly towards Crowman's gate. Spencer, meanwhile, reflected on a silly position to take. He learned to be self-confident, but he also learned to take the rails slowly, carefully, and very smoothly, of course, as much as possible. <laughs> 